Hey guys, Hal here. I'm going to introduce you to the XML editor that's coming out for 7 days to die soon, for A10. So what you need to do is go and grab a copy from the forum, download it, extract it, and you'll see this. And to kick things off, just double click on the executable. First time you open it, you'll be asked to enter the settings. Once you're here, um, fill in the top box by pointing it to the uh, directory that 7 days is located. Go. And it should fill the other information out for you. Uh, it's going to use the uh, model files that are available uh, by the game by default. So any changes they make through this when you click the save, it, next time you start a world, the, the changes will actually be applied to the game. In a future version we're going to have profiles um, so you can have your your core game files here but then you can like split it off to test other batches and, and things like that but that's coming down the road so once this is filled out just click the OK button and the editor will load and here we have it um, this top section up here is the uh, search area so um, this is how you find information. You type in a block name like stone, and it will search for everything that's like stone. Oh, my case for search for so anything with stone in it. Here you can choose all the different search options. So search all the information on the uh, XML file, just its ID, just the material type for that block just its name or actually search all the properties for the given text. So this one here, yeah. uh, down here is the groups. Uh, I think up until A10 groups were locked uh, to, to players but I think this is going to start becoming more and more accessible. Um, so in the uh, crafting menu or the um, creative menu you're going to have option you're going to have access to uh, to all these different groups and you can you can modify them here you can modify them in the game as well but this is just another place to do it over here on the right hand side is the attribute area so when you click on a block this is where all the information for that block resides and this is where you can change it uh, clicking on an attributes uh, value on the drop down will give you access to all the values that have been uh, used for that specific attribute type so it saves you having to hunt down what the possible options are and hopefully help minimize uh, any mistakes so that's it just a quick introduction um, I'm going to be making these videos in just sort of two or th three minute chunks um, so hopefully when things change, as they obviously will, it's not going to be too much effort to, uh, to update the content. Okay guys, thanks for that. See you later.